Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another match here in the Overwatch Xbox community. I'm Corbeck, uh, bringing you this rival tier match between Mythical and Ironclad. Uh, best of three, for those of you who are not familiar with the match format here. This is week three of the Overwatch season, uh, at least as far as the OWXCs goes. We're just going to make one quick check here to make sure kill cams are disabled. Don't want to give anybody any sort of unfair advantage. Uh, just going to make a uh, last check here. I think this passive teammate who's just joined um, is the last team member uh, for Ironclad, and he will be coming in, actually, uh, despite his late arrival for Fatty Derp. Let's swap him over to the red team there. Uh, so, what can we expect from these two teams? Well, this is pretty late in the season. This is one of our top tiers here. Uh, they've had a good opportunity uh, to really get a feel for how things are going over these first couple of weeks. They probably made some changes. Um, and are looking at this is the you know meat of the season. This is where we should arguably see some of our best matches uh, before we get into the real playoff crunch that usually comes at the end. Uh, let me just get the final ready up from both teams here. So we're looking at Lijong Tower, of course, one of the classic control point maps of all Overwatch. Uh, always very enjoyable map uh, to see. Okay, hold on. One last person's joining, uh, just trickling in uh, here. We did get everybody in the lobby and almost get started immediately bang on time, which would perhaps be a uh, accomplishment for the OWXC on occasion. But hey, when you can't pay them to be here, you just got to rely on everybody getting in at the right time. Unfortunately, uh, no contractual obligations here in this free league. If you are interested in participating in the OXC, there are, of course, plenty of teams uh, looking to pick up free agents even now during the season, or perhaps you want to bring in your own team at the start of the next season. You can find out all those sorts of information about being a part of the OXC at www.oxcgaming.com. Uh, that's our website there. We obviously have a Twitch channel as well. Uh, that would be uh, OXC Gaming on Twitch. And you can find us on Twitter as well if you would like. Uh, I believe we have the OXC Gaming handle there as well, having beaten uh, some other individuals to the punch. Uh, okay, we're waiting for one more person. It looks like actual carry will be subbed out for whoever is joining late on behalf of Team Mythical here. So let's talk Lijong Tower. Lijong Tower is the classic sort of control point map, as I said earlier. Um, three very different stages. Uh, you have Control Center, you have Garden, and you have Night Market. Uh, different compositions can be run on each of them. For the longest time, kind of at the pro tier, we saw uh, Zarya Reinhardt being the popular composition on uh, Control Center, even when those two heroes perhaps not at their peak. Nowadays, it's not uncommon to see them run on uh, Night Market as well, those more in tight, close, tight spaces there, uh, especially for the point itself making them a very valuable composition and many teams if they feel comfortable we even run that combination on garden as well garden of course being one of the favorite far maps though overall lijong tower lends itself well to uh the captain of the skies there uh far finding very good angles and very good positions with a lot of environmental kill opportunities on these map uh speaking of environmental kills of course lucio too uh tends to get a lot of traction on lijong tower this map of course being one of the best for lucio players not only because it allows for a lot of wall writing but as i mentioned the environmental kills great as well um, with all that in mind, of course, though, some of the more classic compositions that we've seen rise to prominence lately, such as Goats, might find a lot of traction on Lijong Tower, just rushing bodies onto the point and fighting it out. In our match earlier today, we actually saw uh, two teams squaring off on this map. Uh, that was Team Oof and uh, Atrasha. And they both ran very similar compositions on this map. We never saw actually Control Center on the inside, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, it looks like Aim God will be coming in here uh, on the last second add um, for Team Oof. Or for, sorry, for Mythical. Just getting the confirmation of that in the chat, of course, having to kind of watch things out of my both eyes here uh all right starting looks like we're jumping in then feet first onto Li Zhang tower of course pretty exciting stuff uh always an entertaining map i think one of my personal favorites 
we hear that classic music uh, rumbling there <laughs> in the background. All right, looks like we'll be starting off on Control Center here, the map that we didn't get a chance to see earlier in our game uh, tonight. Though I can't speak for the other uh, game that was going on at a similar time in what I believe was the Challenger tier. Uh, just do a quick panorama there of the lovely skyline. Where is Li Zhang Tower located? I actually don't know off the top of my head. Uh, you feel like I'd know that considering how many times I've played on this map. <laughs> Funny enough. Fair enough. Anyway, just passing through here, looking at these two teams lining up, looks as though we'll be seeing Aim God, well, it was on Tracer, now on McCree, actual carry on Junkrat, Phantom Ghost on Moira, De King will be playing Reinhardt, Anti Juan, Ant Juan, Juan? <laughs> Seven will be playing Zarya, and the Bacon Hut will be on Lucio, meanwhile, on the other side. Passive teammate will be playing Diva. Uh, God knows we've had enough passive teammates here in Overwatch. Christian will be on Mercy. Uh, seems somehow appropriate, considering she's dressed like an angel. Buzz to Savage will be playing a Winston Bunny. Overwatch will be playing Genji. And Akio XP will be on Lucio. And finally, Artemis 665 190 will be playing the Tracer as we get started here. As always, I will apologize for my camera work. Uh, it's not always the best, but I try the best that I can, considering I have to kind of wear two hats and do the commentary at the same time. These two teams wasting no time in getting engaged here in the server room. Aim God actually managed to get the early pick there onto the opposing team's Winston, and that's going to cost them passive teammate. Will get charged out of mech, blown out almost immediately, stuck in baby diva form, but that give enough time for Buzz the Savage to get the res in there. Unfortunately, though, plotting a man down now around the point. That being said, it looks like they will get the early cap. No, De King once more with another very successful charge on one of the opposing tanks. We'll pull Buzz the Savage into the wall and finish him off. And now without their tanks, things looking pretty desperate here uh, for Ironclad. It's just the two supports. Artemis dashing in at the last second to try and help Akio out a little bit. And not far behind them, passive teammate actually pressuring the outside. Looks like they might have booped Junkrat off there. No, Junkrat will survive uh, to keep the fight going here on the point. The King looking for a charge as Buzz the Savage actually abandons his dreams of playing Reinhardt. But it's Bunny Overwatch now. Going ham with the blade, actually not managing to pick much up. Competing sound barriers coming in there, and Bunny forced to flee for his life on the backs of this coalescence. High noon being deployed by Aim God will actually get a pick, an actual carry. Living up to his namesake, dropping in the huge tire there. Though Artemis is able to get off one quick pick on Aim God of Mythical, that won't be enough. It will be an early cap here for Mythical. As they take a quick look at the point, it looks as though Ironclad going to have to take a seat here and figure out the best way they can go about this. Artemis getting picked early. That's very unfortunate. They will use the res to bring her back in. Uh, these two teams now squaring off, looking for some sort of action. It's just going to be a straight up the gut push as a grab does come in. It's thrown deep. It only gets aim got in it. Will he even get picked off? He will. Artemis more than happy to finish off her hard counter there as he was stuck in the Graviton. But actual carry still living up to that name. Managed to get two picks for that. To think they were thinking of subbing this guy out as he just goes off here on Control Center on this Junkrat. Just grenade after grenade finding targets. Uh, it's just Bunny now and Christian desperately trying to fight it out. Christian goes down. Actual carry finds the other team's... Uh, <laughs> Tracer on the outside. Just Bunny now fighting for his life on the outside. Going to choose discretion over Valor there and just hurl himself over the edge for that reset with the rest of his team. That being said, his team not wasting any time. Looks like they're just trying to come in with him, but we'll focus on Aim God here for a second as he sneaks around on the back line looking for a pick. Now he's going to have to be very careful. He finds Bunny back there. Bunny now forced into a duel with a Tracer. This wasn't something he was expecting. Will dash to the health back. Beats Tracer there. It's the two of them just duking it out back here. Kind of an ineffective end to that fight as we hear a Dragon Blade coming out from another than Bunny. A grab thrown in. Big grab actually managed to find quite a few in that. And they're more than happy to fill on up on follow up on that. The Juan will go down, hoisted by his own petard there with his own explosion, but it will be a team kill. Uh, all the members of Team Mythical there more than happy to just reestablish point control. Looking pretty impressive coming in here against Ironclad. It's a tire now coming out from actual carry. It's blown up before it even reaches the point. Sound barriers released by both teams. Actual actual carry's tire does actually manage to find Christian. My apologies. 
Phantom Ghost will get a pick, and it's just solid blue in the kill feed now. Passive teammate and Bunny not far off the point, trying to do something. Bunny attempting to dash out, gets caught in a trap, is immediately brought down by Junkrat. And that will signal the end there. You know, sometimes it's very hard to tell whether those grabs are deflected uh, when you're watching. <laughs> uh, suddenly, grabs just out. One team's in it. When both teams are running Zarya's too, sometimes it can be a tri bit tricky, especially trying to keep track of the camera angle. I did miss a deflected grab in the game earlier today. Uh, as impressive as that is of a play, it's sometimes just a little hard to keep track of, uh, especially when you've got, you know, Genji's jumping around. Take a quick look at the... A dojo here. I don't even know what you really want to call this. So we wait for these two teams to sack up. Zarya will be played by passive teammate Christian on the Mercy. Buzz to Savage on the Reinhardt. Bunny now swapping over from McCree. Nope, he'll stick with the Diva. Uh, Accio on Lucio and Artemis playing a Brigitte. Meanwhile, the other team non hesitating to get on the point. It's Mythical with Aim God on McCree. Actual carry on Junkrat. Phantom, Moira, the King, Reinhardt. Juan, Zarya, Baconut. Lucio as the fight now boils down to point, but it's an early picks from both sides, actually. Actual carry going down at the king, getting a pin on Artemis. Artemis will get Rez back in. That's a distinct advantage here for Ironclad. They're up one now in this fight. Uh, ooh, but it's a huge boop coming off the side. Akio almost getting two. Fortunately, Bacon Hut went just a little bit too far. His tiny Brazilian body carrying him all the way to this other wall where he's able to just get out before any significant damage can be done, but it doesn't look good for him right now. That being said, a charge from deep down count by the King will actually push some people out as we see Diva Bombs being deployed almost by both sides, I imagine, right there. Now both Diva, or one Diva at least, working up. Doesn't really manage to get anything out of it. Bunny Overwatch now pinned a little bit in this corner. Might actually lose the mech. No, she will keep it with the healing. It's a good Earth Shatter thrown in here by Bros the Savage, just trying to pin the other team in this room, and Mythical kind of on the back heel there, almost getting pushed back to their own spawn, desperately looking for some sort of answers to what they can do uh, to try and slow this attack down. Somehow Bunny Overwatch just stuck out there uh, fighting by herself. We focus in on Phantom Ghost, who's having uh, not the better of that exchange, unfortunately. While Aim God now playing the far, he's got a Mercy backing up. That's Phantom Ghost switching off of Moira. Oh, it's a point blank. Diva Bomb, will he be able to get out? No, he cannot. Aim God is brought down by the Diva Bomb, but Bunny, will he be able to get out now? Stuck way back as he is, and he, oh no, he misses the jump with his booster jets, but he's back in the comforting range of his Lucio, at least. He's going to fall back for some healing, and it's looking like a very solid hold here by Team Ironclad. Uh, they're not letting anyone pass these doors. Uh, they can't get out of the noodle restaurant. Being said, now it looks like they're looking for some sort of wide flank. You see this reefer switch here by Actual Carry, looking for a reason to jump in here. It's a big grab, though. We'll get three, but Sound Barrier immediately thrown down to Savage. More than happy to get a charge in there, but Aim God finally finding some room, gets the barrage in the back line. We'll pick off two. One, one, inspired by that. We'll get a pick as well. Uh, but the fight kind of continuing here. Now it's Ironclad on the back foot. Passive teammate kind of stuck. Bunny Overwatch coming back to support. Artemis not fired behind, but they will not get to passive teammate in time. Actual carry will be brought back into the fight. And we see a yet another Diva Bomb chucked up high. Ooh, managed to get two there. And it's both the DPS going down for Team Mythical. That's got to hurt as passive teammate is res and brought back into the fight here. Um, grab thrown in yet again. It's Buzz the Savage trapped in at this time. It's three, but they won't really get any follow up on it at all, despite Buzz the, or the King coming in, swinging his hammer around. Not really getting any purchase. It's just a brawl on point three to four, four to five. Uh, nope. And they're just going back and forth, back and forth. More than happy to keep this going. It's just Phantom. Kind of stuck on the point. Actual carry comes charging in for a heroic Graviton, but, or for a heroic Death Blossom. Gets immediately stunned and then hammered down, and it will be a point take here uh, for Ironclad, who come back answering after their loss on Control Center. It's always good to see two teams relatively evenly matched there. Clearly, Ironclad not put out by the fact that they weren't able to pick up that win on Control Center. More than happy to just come back in raging uh, and pick up that win on that map. see the two teams stacking up now. Let's see what they're picking. Uh, it looks like a dive composition coming from Mythical Aim God on Tracer. Actual carry switching over to Afara. Phantom Ghost remaining on the Mercy. to King now playing D.Va. Juan Juan playing Winston. And Bacon Hunt on Lucio. Meanwhile, passive teammate will stick with that Zarya. Christian will remain on the Mercy. Buzz to Savage will continue playing uh, Reinhardt. Bunny Overwatch now on the Farah. Akio on Lucio. And Artemis. 
play into Vegeta. Oh, but it's an early pick here for Bunny Overwatch. He wastes no time in picking up his opposite number on the far. Some very solid play right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad we got to see that on camera. This dive composition kind of struggling to get into this Reinhardt and Zarya here. And that's a lot of kills in the kill feed as Buzz the Savage more than happy to just clean up the enemy team there. Swinging his hammer and chucking in a fire strike as well uh, to just get the picks. Uh, that his team needs, but all kicked off there by Bunny Overwatch just taking to the skies and winning that aerial duel, though now he's a little bit grounded, uh, trying maybe to get back to safety in a better position before he amps himself up into the air again. Oh no, I think he's actually going back for a swap, so we'll zoom out of him right there. Uh, get stuck on a wall, totally planned, uh, by the way. As we see Aim God now playing a Widowmaker, trying to look for some sort of pick maybe that they can get here. Uh, probably brought out maybe the Karen or the Farah. The Farah now having a uh, switch? No, I'm not really sure what's going on with the Farah on the other side. Uh, actually having switched off to a Diva now. As we see this fight coming down, Bunny Overwatch again just up on the Diva now. Now he's looking to counter the other pharmacy. No, he sees an advantageous target. It's Aim God all alone on the Widowmaker. But is he all alone? Mercy's right there to help him out. We'll keep him up, and it's the King now on the respawn coming back in. Alongside Aim God, both of them able to just push them back. Uh, and Diva thinks discretion is the better part of Valor once again and falls back to the point. Bunny Overwatch now pushing the uh, front point there with a little bit of help from the Zarya. It's this triple tank composition. Does look like Reinhardt maybe, unfortunately, is going to get a little bit more of a scenic view than he planned. Uh, Justice rains from above. It's actual carry managing to pick off Buzz to Savage and paying for it and return that suicide all by Farah. So classically suicidal. But it's a lot of red in the kill feed as Bunny Overwatch making that Diva swap look real good. Manages to get two and Buzz to Savage almost immediately rezzed. Essentially counteracting the barrier. Diva Bomb chucked in high. It will find three. It's both DPS and the Mercy. And to follow it up to King and Wan Wan go down really quickly as well. And now it's Team Mythical who's going to have to reset uh, really hard back on their heels after a storming first First point win. Aim God now having switched off of the Widowmaker, now playing a uh, McCree. Sound barriers coming in from both teams here, as well as a Valkyrie. Somebody's trying to get a cheeky back cap, but poor Aim God all by himself will just get bludgeoned into the ground by both supports and Reinhardt. Uh, meanwhile, Bunny Overwatch up in the face of actual carry will bring him down as well, and things not looking good here. This 99%. On the point, will anybody be able to touch to keep it alive? No, it will be a first map win for Ironclad. Play, Play of the game there going to Phantom Ghost 43. Quite a very impressive match on Moira. Let's see if they manage to pull off anything interesting. Well, it usually involves a coalescence in some form, doesn't it? Um... <laughs> Very effective Moira play right there. 31% of the team damage shield, but Bunny Overwatch really showing why he's such a valuable player here, pulling in 72% of the kill participation on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's nothing to scoff at there. He gets his five votes because he sure earned them. All right, we're just going to get the ready up for both teams here, make sure there are no substitutions. And we'll start on our second map, which will be Junkertown, the uh, Thunder Down Under, as it were. Um, I think I stole that from something else, but that's okay. Always a fun map, too, uh, that last map. Uh, it looks like there will at least be one substitution. I imagine it will be Captain Memes coming back in here uh, for Aim God. Or not for Aim God, for the real carry. Sure enough. Captain Memes stepping off the bench and putting herself into the roster. Um, just switch over the map here. I do apologize for these menu views. I was trying to stream earlier, but off of my uh, Xbox app so we could have the nice overlays. But unfortunately, some sound issues uh, kind of made that a little bit difficult as we just switch maps to Junkertown here. Junkertown, always a fun map. Pretty enjoyable. Uh, of course, protect the payload. Being one of the most popular strategies, dual snipers as well. Uh, both these strategies, you know, with their downsides and their upsides, but both very enjoyable to watch. Um, looks like both teams are ready here, so we'll just get this moving because some of us haven't eaten dinner yet. Uh, thank you for joining us, by the way, for this late night game, at least for those of you living on the East Coast of the Overwatch Xbox community. Um, this is, of course, 
a rival tier match between Team Ironclad and Team Mythical. Ironclad actually already picking up the first map win here, despite coming out losing on the first stage of Lijiang Tower, managing to pick it up um, after two hard-fought stages. So we enter into Junker Town here. Junker Town, of course, map that was relatively unpopular when it first came out. Kind of grown on people, not the least because it has a Thunderdome. Uh, how many other maps in Overwatch have a Thunderdome, I ask you? Anyway, we'll just pause for this brief look here at the Ruinscape sidelines. You know, the rest of Australia really doesn't look that bad when you look at it, but uh, Drunker Town, yeah, it looks like kind of a mess, <laughs> all things considered. As the two teams stack up here, let's see what we have. Uh, we have Aim God on Torbjorn, Captain Memes on Roadhog, Phantom Ghost playing Mercy to King on Orisa, Juan Juan will be playing... Doomfist, Bacon Hut on Symmetra. Assuming we're going to see some swaps coming in there, but maybe not. Meanwhile, on the other side, Password Teammate on the Diva, Christian on the Mercy, Buzz to Savage playing the Winston, Bunny Overwatch on the Mercy, Art and Marcy, Widowmaker, two very different heroes there, uh, Akio XP on Lucio, and Artemis 665 190 playing the Genji. We do see a swap hits, Phantom Ghost swapping over to the Mercy, and Aim God uh, playing the Widowmaker. Seems appropriate given his name. Of course, Juan Juan will stick with the Doomfist, and Doomfist has been entering back more into the meta of late. You see him played probably much more frequently than you used to. People are now giving him sort of a newfound respect. If you've been watching any of the group stages of the World Cup, especially this weekend, you've probably seen some very impressive Doomfist play uh, from all the teams, actually. At least those teams that feel free to embrace this. Gone are the days when it was only certain lenders the Overwatch League are capable of playing them. He seems almost a standard part of the DPS roster now as we swatch back here. See what kind of defense we're looking at is very very sedate very very far back they're going to play off that roadhog hook there so the other team more than happy to take advantage of that space and move it to the payload none of the, neither of the teams uh utilizing the most popular strategies which we discussed earlier instead favoring a dive on one side a much more static composition on the other it's buzz the savage now who's just going to get up in the face start pumping in lightning damage as best as he can, tickling his way through, but Captain Means, Aim God, and Juan Juan all combine to just stuff that attack right in the front. They will be forced to drop down low, though, the King sacrificing that high ground to get the low ground uh, to engage Artemis, actually, and it's Christian, kind of stuck back there on Mercy, nearly gets clipped by Widowmaker, but will fly back to the safety of her team as the dive appears to reset again. But it's Infrasight's coming out now that might make things a little bit harder. That being said, this map has such wide sightlines anyway. Not really sure just how bad it will be. Juan Juan getting an early pick on Bunny. It's bad news for Bunny here. Um, but the dive is coming in, hunting for a target. They will find Mercy right off. That's what you always want to see in a dive composition. One of the healers going down. Captain Means will pick off the Winston. It's not enough to save DeKing, though. They, they will de-mech D.Va in that effort. And both dive tanks are down here. Uh, Bacon Hut getting in on the action there as Lucio as well, but they'll push this payload around the corner, and Bunny, once again, despite getting Aim God, finds himself on the receiving end of Doomfist Fist, and Juan Juan not stopping here, manages to get two and then pick off Mercy as well. Good use of the ultimate and an impressive use of the punch there uh, to just pick off the enemy team. Wow, this Doomfist play from Juan Juan, really no joke, actually, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, really putting the difference, definitely making Bunny's life significantly uncomfortable here. Ooh, Aim God giving Bunny the old Viking crew cut there. Bunny actually really struggling on this map so far. Has been caught out of position multiple times, and Wan Wan, too, uh, not one to be outdone by his teammates. We'll get in there and get a quick pick as well. Bunny now with the pulse bomb is going to look for something off of this, but he's been falling early almost every single fight. Lucio desperately trying to get around the outside, but Akio is just going to help him on his way there. Uh, but Bacon Hut's just going to help Akio on his way there, uh, giving him a scenic tour of the Australian skyline. Probably didn't really want that, all things considered, but uh, I don't feel like he didn't have a lot of choice in the matter. So we see Bunny now trying to set up for a big pulse bomb, something to break his team. Aim God immediately getting a pick um, on Akio. That's very unfortunate. Lucio having just met a rather unfortunate end there. And now this sniper doing her best to just continue to pump fire in. We'll be looking for something. It's a searching diva bomb over the top. Quick to follow it up is Bunny. He's right there trying to put a little bit of pressure on Aim God. Aim God, priority target number one, but he's hooked and he's brought down 
Oh, and this bad map for Bunny just continues. He's having a really hard time. Beatdown Bong was thrown down there, not really getting many of his teammates in. It's mostly DeKing and Juan Juan. Juan Juan nearly goes sailing off the edge of the map, but it's aim gone now, just on a tear, looking relatively unstoppable on that Widowmaker as we focus in on Bunny again, still pocketing this Pulse Bomb. Aim God really putting in a performance, living up to his name here, and it's looking like a first point full hold, uh, for lack of a better word, for Team Mythical, unless Ironclad can really put something together uh, and make something out of this. Damn, Bush Widowmaker, that's usually not something you want to see. It makes even the body shots really telling. Ooh, but he has to fall back. Oh, he's stuck! Oh, it's the hero play from Bunny right there. Oh, man, that was really something to talk about. That was exactly what they needed as Accio throws into the sound barrier. They're seeing the opportunity to win this now, but Wan Wan takes Christian out of the fight early. Captain Memes getting a pick from passive teammate. Somewhere finds Aim God, brings him down again. Passive teammate now on this D.Va, going on an absolute tear, just trying to get whatever they can. Uh, doesn't really find anything with that hook. Captain Memes sectioned off on the outside and brought down. There's a lot of red in the kill feed to King. Holding his best position he can on the point. You see D.Va flying back in with... B or, uh, you see Mercy flying back in to touch Bacon Hut. It's just the two supports now. Bacon Hut deciding he's just going to get out. But unfortunately, Phantom Ghost can't follow and is brought down. Meanwhile, Bunny Overwatch finally getting some picks there. <laughs> Looking at Doomfist and Bacon Hut as well before trying to bury themselves in the back line. And it will be a first point capture here when things looked real grim. Oh, Bunny nearly getting hoisted by his own petard on that pulse bomb. Uh, when things did look real grim there for Team Ironclad, uh, they found a big play from their Tracer to take out Aim God. And it will continue to fight here. Tracer just looking for a target. I think the most opportunistic prey might have got peeked there. Comes charging out for Aim God. He did get picked. Oh, no. They might have, uh, Captain Memes probably just saw the tip of the guns coming around the corner there, and Wan Wan was more than ready for that. Meteor Strike coming in now. It's deep in the back line. Doesn't manage to find anything with it, but Aim God more than happy to follow up on that. Taking whatever advantage she can of the fight. His passive teammate in the back line trying to put pressure on that Widowmaker that's been causing so much hassle. Fortunately, will only get demeched for her trouble. Bunny now hooked, brought in, and brought down. Captain Meme's just been hitting hook after hook. Uh, really pushing problems for Ironclad all over the place here. It's hard to focus when you're just getting pulled in constantly by the enemy team. And God looking for an opportunistic pick to start off the fight here. Just wants to put this whole thing to bed. Oh, he clips Accio, but Accio does not go down. We see support ultimates coming out from both sides. Bunny now on McCree, trying to just put pressure on the Mercy and duel. And God at the same time. Oh, and he'll win the duel. Pretty impressive there. Juan Juan in the back line may have gone down right there were not for a well-deployed sound barrier. Meanwhile, on the front lines, the King goes down. Juan Juan finally picked off in the back. Sound barrier thrown down there kind of at the end of the fight. Perhaps a little bit unnecessary. Things were already going their way. Captain Memes, meanwhile, will demech uh, passive in the back. Bunny Overwatch again taking out Aim God, not even giving Widowmaker a chance to set up, thoroughly controlling that high ground as the payload comes ticking around to the front here. will be a significantly easier streets phase capture for this team. Oh, no. Bunny looking for a major high noon, but Aim God says no, no thank you. Just picks him right off the top of the high ground. McCree's ult so suicidal in so many contexts. And it's Aim God now being pushed by passive teammate, but passive teammate overextending, actually going to get demeched unless she can grab onto that health pack. Oh, she can't. She's out of baby deep in the phone right there and brought down probably shortly thereafter. No, yeah, it's still down. We have a Winston now, or we have a Wrecking Ball. My apologies, not a Winston. It's Winston's best buddy, Wrecking Ball, out on the field now to complement this sort of semi-dive, semi-Reinhardt backing comp, but to King getting an early pick on Buzz the Savage there. Always good to see a bit of Wrecking Ball, though. It's Bunny Overwatch uh, just in the back line trying to cause devastation with this hamster, but he's getting into a situation in which a Wrecking Ball player never wants to be, which is just stuck. In the middle of the enemy team, not able to roll anywhere, and he will pay for it. Aim God once more, putting in a good performance, getting those picks. Ooh, wow, an excellent pick there on Akio as well. Oh, but the fight descending to the point now. Aim God uncontested up on this high ground. Right as I say that, though, passive teammate comes up looking to divest them of their position. The fight continues. Bunny comes charging in, and a Diva Bomb is chucked on the high ground. Not really sure what the idea was there, but Minefield being deployed as well. 
a tiny little gap that Captain Memes is able to negotiate, but that's definitely not something that Mythical wants to back up into. They're not going to need to, though, as they're getting the majority of the picks here, and they're forcing the enemy team back. It's going to be a reset. Buzz the Savage nearly getting picked off there. Artemis not far behind him, looking to support him. Passive teammate now drops down. It's the two tanks. Lucio's with their mirror as well. They're going to have to do something to divest Aengod of that high ground. Rally coming out, just trying to get armor on some teammates, trying to predict perhaps those one picks uh, from the Widowmaker. We see dragons flying across the point as it just turns into an alt fiesta here. Captain Meme is trying to take advantage of the sound barrier. Will pop Hoggle. Coming around the U vent here. Uh, another ultimate thrown out. This time it's Accio's sound barrier. Lucio's sound barrier is getting deployed at critical times by both teams. Uh, one one will get a pick, but that kill feed mostly solid red right now. Buzz to Savage getting res despite going down. It's just Captain Memes on the back foot and one one as well, trying to get out, trying to find some sort of safety. He doesn't find it, and here in overtime, we're seeing Ironclad just push this through. Will there be a contest? Not many meters to go. The King comes charging back on to try and contest. Bunny Overwatch gonna chuck Dragon straight down the choke right there. Not gonna let anybody out of those doors. Aim God now on the Tracer, just trying to contest. Hold on for as long as possible, looking for some sort of action here. Juan Juan manages to find Bunny Overwatch. It's mutual kills there by the two Hanzos, both storm arrowing each other. Uh, and it will not be enough, despite a very valiant effort to try and get those respawns back on the point. Captain Meme so close with that D.Va, will not be able to touch in time. And in overtime, Ironclad will be able to complete the push. Uh, just taking a moment to catch my breath there, and ladies and gentlemen, that was such an intense sort of push right at the very end with all that contestation in overtime as these two teams reset for yet another attack. This time, be an opportunity uh, to see what the other team can muster here. It'll be interesting to see what they come out with, too, based on the composition we saw last time. Uh, whether they're going to want to make some significant changes, whether they're going to want to run something different. Looks like they're sort of stacking up here, making some picks. So we have Aim God on Widowmaker, Captain Memes on Winston, Phantom Ghost on the Mercy, De King playing Diva, 1-1. One, one. Looks like he's still trying to pick, though he did put in a relatively decent performance as Doomfist for a lot of that map. Uh, Bacon Hut on Lucio, Phantom Ghost now switching back to a Moira passive teammate. Meanwhile, on Azaria, Christian on a Mercy, Buzz to Savage on the Reinhardt, Bunny Overwatch will be playing Sombra, Accio on the Lucio, Artemis on Brigitte. Juan Juan now actually having selected. He'll be playing Sombra as well. Sombra, of course, becoming increasingly popular these days. Um, as we're looking at initial high ground defense here uh, for Team Ironclad, uh, as Team Mythical going to come in and try and do whatever they can to just make this difficult uh, for them to hold on to this high ground. They look like they're more than happy to just let the dive build. It's almost as if you're using Buzz to Savage's bait, setting this Brigida up behind him, trying to get somebody to jump in. The payload just keeps coming now. They're getting into one of the tighter points in this first stage, and Buzz the Savage will commit. He's backed up by his supports and Zarya looking for something, but it's Aim God being brought down by Bunny in the back line here as uh, Phantom does his best to just drive off the Sombra, though Sombra, persistent as always, will get the hack. The King now turning around and trying his best to just uh, put in some damage. Solid red in the kill feed right now, though. Looks like Mythical's going to have to do a hard reset here, probably regroup, reconsider their strategy as the King goes down. Aim God, however, going to make them pay just a little bit for that. Aim God looking for something, just more than happy to pump a couple of high damage shots into this Reinhardt barrier in the meantime. Aim God now kicking to the outside, looking for an opportunity to set up. We know how deadly he is on this character. We know that the picks will start to come in if he can just find a good place to go, but oh no! Bunny Overwatch right there to bring him down, and we hear Hammer Down being thrown out too. Not a lot of effect on it right now, though. 
This dive comp kind of struggling, but a big EMP, will that be enough to change it? It's, oh, it's a big bomb. It will manage to get off Artemis. Accio managing to find his way behind a convenient pillar there, but things not looking particularly great for Ironclad right now as this fight continues around this point. Buzz the Savage has arrived back. He's looking to jam the fight, but Captain Memes and Aim God both contributing here to just bring things down. Excuse me. Aim God having switched now off of Widowmaker and onto a McCree, probably to put a little bit of damage on Bunny Overwatch. He's actually looking to initiate with an EMP of his own. You can almost see it coming, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's Mythical who on the back foot. So close to this front door, it's Bacon Hut going down. Captain Means diving in the back line, just trying to put pressure on any of the sports that he can, or uh, she can, having a really hard time. Mercy now with a Valkyrie out. It's just about to end as Sound Barrier is committed. Sound Barrier from both sides, a grab thrown in as well. Are they gonna get any sort of traction on it at all? They are. Bacon Hut goes down. Bacon Hut having just brought, brought down not that long ago, but then it's solid red in the kill feed here as they are more than happy to clean this up. Ironclad using that EMP to maximum effect right there to initiate that fight. That being said, though, Captain Meme sitting on an ultimate to King, sitting on the ultimate and Wan Wan also getting very close to an EMP of their own. Are we going to see the somber trading of the EMPs here uh, to initiate Aim God 2? Not far away from McCree's High Noon. All of those ultimates could be critical. Buzz the Savage is the only member of Team Ironclad who's sitting on an ultimate. He's going to probably look to use it pretty early. Oh, but it's a huge EMP, and the Bob comes in right behind it. We'll get three with that. Buzz the Savage, Christian, and Accio all going down there. Nothing that can be done. Wan Wan following on the trail of the EMP will get past a TA, and Bunny will emerge to try and just get one pick out of that. But no, it'll be a solid team kill right there. Ironclad just cannot survive the ult combo. And meanwhile, they managed to hold on to two ultimates. Aim God still with High Noon and Captain Memes with Mad Monkeys. Well, Bunny Overwatch now sitting on an EMP of their own with Buzz to Savage still sitting on that Earth Shatter. Probably a combo we're going to see as this payload rolls into the streets phase of this map. This dive composition sort of working out for them so far, though. It's really taking place with the ultimates to make a difference. McCree on the high ground, just putting in a little bit of damage here, looking for an opportunity to use this high noon. Ooh, it's a very good hack. Big old fatty EMP coming in there. Will they be able to pick up anything with it? They certainly will. Artemis gets two. Just swinging that mace with abandoned. Captain Memes goes down. He'll also pick up Diva as well. Three kills there for the Brigida. No joke. De King is hacked, and then Phantom Ghost is brought down. So it's just Baby Diva right now, trying to escape. It won't be such Bunny Overwatch more than happy to follow up on his teammate's success uh, and get some picks right there. As we see Team Ironclad asserting itself on the high ground. They're looking for some sort of opportunity to push forward. Bacon Hunt getting an early blast of the old fire strike there. Probably didn't want that. Captain Means now looking for the dive. More than happy to play the front line a little bit here. Just Rally goes in. We'll come back looking for Mercy. Mercy will go up immediately into the air there, just trying to make things difficult. Uh, it's a hack, though, on passive teammate in the back line, but Mercy's attached to him at the hip. They're not going to be able to take any advantage of that. Artemis now holding the line here with Buzz to Savage, and Savage just more than happy to throw that damage around. These three supports playing so well for Ironclad. It's a huge charge right there, but Buzz the Savage able to get his shield up in time to block that Diva Bomb on the end of it, but Captain Memes goes angry monkey and just throwing his weight around and the, her weight around the back line here, looking for something, anything to help his team push this card just a little bit farther. Not really going to find anything. It's looking pretty red around that payload. There's 50 seconds left on the clock. That's still enough time for them to reset. Bacon Hut still up. Wan Wan still up. Bunny looking for a last minute pick here, but unfortunately pinned in the corner. Wan Wan and Bacon Hut both will go down. That's very unfortunate there. 35 seconds left on the clock, and they're going to need something real convincing here if they want to stay in this match and keep this payload going. Two ultimates now sitting on their side, four for the other side. We're almost certainly going to see that Graviton Surge, but will we see maybe some sort of game-winning High Noon coming out here? Oh, he's lining them up. He's lining them up. He's not going to be able to find anything. Oh, he finds one. It's passive teammate who goes down before she can unleash the grab. That's a big pick. Bunny Overwatch, though, sitting on an EMP as an Earth Shatter comes in. 
Oh, and they're cleaning up the kills on the heels of Buzz the Savage's Earth Shadow. There's really nothing that can be done here. An EMP thrown in almost for good measure. The res will bring passive teammate in it. He'll throw a grab. Captain Means caught up into a well, and it's just Wan Wan stuck in the back as Sombra. And it looks like a quick pickup here. Uh, holding in the streets phase for Team Ironclad, who will win the match by picking up the first two maps. One-one on the Doomfist getting a well-deserved play of the game. Did look very impressive on this hero. I think I know exactly what this is going to be. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty dark. Doesn't get much better than that for Doomfist play, and... Perhaps it's time that we all started taking Doomfist just a little bit more seriously there. 28% of the team's hero damage coming out of Aim God. Pretty impressive. But again, Bunny Overwatch just showing their value. Sitting on 72% kill participation almost as much as they got last time. That's just... That's such a big number. <laughs> that's such a big number. That means that that player is really involved in everything that is going on. And it's just very impressive. Um... There's nothing more really to be said about it, I think. Anyway, let's just see if there's any last-minute substitutions. Now, that being said, though, Ironclad has officially won this match, taking the first two maps. There's still one more map to play. That'll be Blizzard World. Uh, and the points do matter here. Map points will, of course, become a factor at the end of this. Uh, they will be very important in the playoff picture. They do determine some teams' playoff future, especially if there are ties. Uh, between teams very common coming in probably will be quite common in this rival tier as well um, as we come into our final map which will be blizzard world if i can just find it i do believe that's a uh, assault escort it is that's not eichenwald that's for sure all right let's just make sure that actual carry isn't going to come back in Thank you again for joining us tonight uh, for this late night match here, at least for those of you on the East Coast, starting as it did at 11 p.m. EST um, between uh, Mythical and Ironclad and the rival tier of the Overwatch Xbox community, uh, the premier Xbox-associated competition for Overwatch. Uh, it's free to enter. If you are just joining us, you're interested in playing in the Overwatch Xbox community or you're interested in signing a team up for next season, uh, you can find more information about that at our website, www.oxcgaming.com. You can also follow us on Twitch uh, at OXCGaming, and I believe our Twitter handle is somewhere along those lines as well. Uh, there are four different tier, there are five tiers now in the OXC. We've just added a new tier this season, Carbon Tier, which is for teams hanging out in the silver and gold range uh, to expand everything. Just waiting for uh, Captain Memes here to give the go-ahead for Mythical, as apparently Ironclad is perfectly happy. Uh, Fatty Dorp seems more than pleased to uh, ride his team's bench here uh, as they come into this final map on Blizzard World. It'll be interesting to see what comes out of these two teams on Blizzard World. I feel like Blizzard World is a map that inspires creativity in teams because each of the stages show very different in the way that they play. You have like a very streets-oriented phase at the beginning with those tight choke point, and then uh, you kind of transition into a uh, more high ground-oriented game on the second, and then those long sight lines uh, in the Reign of the Black King, that Diablo-themed final part there. Um, you know what's always interesting, though, is people talk about that choke point on Blizzard World, yet in so many competitive games, I feel like the choke point is barely, really not hardly contested. It's usually the other team just comes barreling through it, and the fight almost always descends back onto the point, uh, depending on how evenly matched the teams are. Uh, let me just once more just try and check with Captain Memes uh, to make sure there's not anything more that we need to know here. Regardless, it's been a very enjoyable matchup so far, these two teams, despite the scoreline, playing pretty evenly across these maps. Just a slight advantage going the way of Ironclad. Mythical did come storming out on Lijiang, picked up the first map. Ironclad was able to claw back in with two wins there. Uh, and then a pretty solid performance there on Junkertown as well, holding them off that first point. Um, with a very, very stodgy defense and a good use of all. That being said, both teams delivering some pretty impressive alt combos. Uh, Mythical with a very good Diva Bomb orchestrated EV EMP right there to get three picks. It was huge in allowing them to take the first point. And then some good sound barrier usage by both the Lucios, which has really been very important to contributing to the victories here. 
it looks as though Team Mythical may be considering a last-minute switch as they decide whether or not they want to throw somebody else in. And we'll just wait a second. Nothing more really to be said at this point in time. Just that little icon of Blizzard World there in the corner, giving us a preview of coming attractions, just teasing us enough uh, to keep us all interested. Like some sort of Bob Ross painting video. I don't know. Uh, 44 minutes in here. Waiting for the go-ahead from Captain Memes. Still hanging out here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, still waiting on any sort of changes here coming out from Mythical. Actual carry might be coming in here to replace one of the team members. I believe that's what they're discussing uh, for this final map. Just want to make sure that everybody on the bench and roster gets a chance to play uh, in these matches, of course. Very exciting opportunity for aspiring Overwatch players on the Xbox. It is perhaps a bit of a shame that console players can't make the jump to the bigger leagues. But hey, uh, that's eSports for you. Uh, it's just the way it goes sometimes, I'm afraid. And it is worth pointing out that in the talent game, uh, which occurred between the talents of the Overwatch uh, League uh, during the All-Star weekend, at least one of those players on stage was a console player. Uh, Malik plays on console. He actually wanted to use a controller, but apparently they told him he couldn't because they were worried uh, that it would mess up the... Uh, the settings uh, for other computers for the other people. Not to mention that maybe a controller would put him, put him at a bit of a disadvantage, but that being said, the man learned a mouse and, key, mouse and keyboard in like a week uh, so that he could play uh, with the rest of the team, though you won't know he played, I think, Brigida and maybe Diva. Uh, at least Brigida maybe not the most uh, mechanically demanding hero in terms of aim. Very good for the warm-up. Okay, we've got the ready here for Captain Memes, so I can stop filling this in dead air here, uh, and we can get started on Blizzard World to end our late-night Saturday night game uh, here for the Overwatch Xbox community. Uh, who needs college football? Okay. We're going to go back to the lobby uh, because there's been a last-minute sub. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, sudden change of heart right there um, as they decided that they wanted to throw in uh, actual carry uh, for Antoine Juan. Antoine. I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to read when I read that name, but regardless, actual carry will come in for Antoine Juan. Um, they want to switch sides, so let me just do that really quickly. Fortunately, this does tend to confuse things uh, a little bit because it will switch colors, and we will have to uh, we will have to change spectator colors as well. Uh, just give me one second while we do this here. Uh, really, I think in the future of the Overwatch Xbox maps, uh, we're gonna change this so that uh, we don't have to worry about this necessarily uh, in the future. We'll just put in quick placeholders here. We'll do IC for Ironclad and M for Mythical right there. All right, and I think that'll do it for us here. Uh, making sure that everybody is uh, okay to uh, go forward. It does look like all the teammates are correct. Everybody's spectating the right people, uh, which gives us the clear here. So we'll head into Blizzard World, finally, despite that little bit of a false start there. Um, Going into the map and we see the skyline there of Blizzard World, those three distinct stages. Boy, I would like to see more of Blizzard World. Actually, slightly surprised that it doesn't exist as a real place. <laughs> I feel like they'd get traffic. Um, as the two teams assemble their heroes here uh, for this. So Blizzard World is a map I feel that lends itself a pretty interesting series of changing stages as I talked about earlier and does require perhaps swaps in composition and we've seen that earlier today in our matches and we'll probably see that again here um, as these two teams come in. Of course certain spots usually favoring themselves better than others uh, for defenses. As we look at the two teams and how they're stacking up here, we have passive teammate on the Zarya Christian on the Mercy. Buzz to Savage will be playing the Reinhardt. Bunny Overwatch will be on Hanzo. 
Akio will be on Lucio, and Artemis will be playing Genji. So the Shimada brothers making an appearance here. Uh, meanwhile, on the other side, Aim God will be playing a Bastion, Captain Memes on Azaria, Phantom Ghost on Mercy, DeKing on Reinhardt, Actual Carry on Hanzo, and the Bacon Hut on Brigida. Excuse me, good lord. Uh, we'll see if that Bastion holds up. Here, I do apologize for that. Just noticed you could see people walking over there on the other side of that water. I've never really noticed that before, funny enough. Um, go figure. Looks like a lovely day out in Blizzard World. Probably hot. It's the most amusing parks where we are. It doesn't look very crowded, surprisingly. Uh, no Disneyland, I guess. All things considered. As we get ready to start here, we see these sort of traditional high ground hold. Are they really going to contest up there? No, it looks like it was more of just a uh, perspective idea than anything really concrete. Aim got on this Widowmaker now, trying to get some early picks here. Just help her to ease the team through. Looking for something, we'll take the high ground, looks to find someone, can't find anyone, still playing around off this high ground, trying to get something in, but the rest of the team more than happy to crash around the point now, Aim God just looking for a position, he finds Bunny in the back, will engage him here, but he's going to have to fall back, can't keep that fight going, a little too risky even for someone with Aim God's talents, um, and Bunny Overwatch now operating on the flank. Just trying to get something in. Oh, it's an early Earth Shatter coming out from Buzz the Savage, and it's pretty big. That being said, actual carry manages to get a pick before he gets brought down. The two Reinhardts just brawling it out. Both of them swinging their hammers at each other, just looking for any sort of purchase. But it will be Mythical that's going to have to give a little bit of space here. No, never mind. Bacon Hut popping. Rally says, get in there. You only stop fighting when I say you stop fighting. And DeKing, happy to oblige with a big Earth Shatter there uh, to get picks. Oh, and it's solid red in the kill feed as four members of the team go down. And boy, they will have to reset hard there. And that's going to be a first point capture, uh, barring some sort of miracle. In God with the deep, long spawn coming back. Uh, DeKing swinging his hammer a little bit, trying to just create a bit of space, uh, push the team forward just a little bit. We hear the infamous Widowmaker voice line coming out. That means Infersites are up. That Widowmaker is seeing through walls. Fortunately, Accio goes down, as does Bunny. They make the choice to res Bunny. Uh, Aim God getting a pick there. But Captain Memes, too, delivering back. As once more, the two Reinhardts bash into each other. But it's Aim God in the back line on this Widowmaker. Just going to town here. Gets three picks in that fight. More than happy to to control this high ground pretty much uncontested. There's nobody who can get up there and put any significant amount of pressure on her. Oh, looking for a good shot blocked by the turret of the siege tank here. Uh, that maneuvering siege tank actually causing a bit of problems for Aim God. He's looking for something. Bunny now trying to contest manages to get the clip and finishes him off. Oh, but he'll be rezzed right back into it. Will he be able to survive up there, though? Now Artemis. Oh, and Bunny's up there fighting with him. As dragons come in across the point. Oh, and it's the infamous Dragon Ball for Bunny, and he gets three. And then manages to finish Aim God off for four. And Bunny's got to push up. He doesn't want to give him any space. They're more than happy to try and fight this out in the spawn, but oh, Aim God. Looking at some vengeance right there. Some vengeance right there for Aim God, actually. Uh, he manages to pick up a kill on that. And Aim God, we see, getting up to that high ground again, really making this his home, trying to pick off as many as he can. And he's really been doing work on this Widowmaker, uh, despite some actual very good efforts from Bunny to put pressure on him on that Hanzo. Bunny is now actually playing a D.Va, specifically, I assume, for the purpose of making this life making life difficult. And it's become a fight for the high ground, really, here on the second point, which is always nice to see. Oh, but it's a Dragon Blade coming in. Are they going to find anything up on it? No. Aim God, though, still up there. Still doing damage. He's down on the ground floor. Now he'll pick off another one, and Aim God just cannot be stopped. He delivers passive teammate. Uh, the old Viking crew cut right there. And boy, this Widowmaker play is looking really convincing. Aim God living up to his name.
Ooh, and he clips Reinhardt there too. That's gonna be healed up almost immediately. Buzz the Savage has to be uh, has to be thinking about that one. That's giving him something to uh, consider there. Um, more than happy to just watch In God for a second. He'll finish off Bunny Overwatch and gets the pick in midair. Oh my lord! Oh, just beheadings all over the place. Headshot after headshot after headshot, and In God is just unstoppable. He's winning this fight almost. He's doing it by himself. Oh, it's impressive. The team obviously playing very well around him, but you can't deny how highly impactful this Widowmaker has been. And for the members of the other team, they're basically living in terror. They don't know what to do. They've tried everything to shut it down, and Aim God will claim another one. It's Artemis this time, who's being taken off. The old Babylonian head chopper there just loses their head. Oh, it's a Graviton thrown in. There's three in it. Bunny Overwatch will deploy an almost immediate Diva Bomb. Zarya takes the brunt of that on her body. Meanwhile, Akio manages to get a pick, but Captain Memes quick to finish off anything despite the res coming. Or this res comes in on De King, but it almost feels unnecessary. And boy, Aim God's got to be getting some plaudits in his chat right now because that was incredibly impressive. Full map take with 2 minutes 51 seconds left on the clock there uh, for Team Mythical. Team Ironclad now going to have to reset and come again on their own attack. It'll be interesting to see what we see coming out from the other side. Also be interesting to see what they throw out on defense here. Mythical having to be riding a little bit high on that performance. Even though they've lost this uh, this series, they do look like they're in good position to get that map win. Sitting on a 251 time bang and aim caught on that Widowmaker just seems unstoppable. There's going to have to be something coming out of the composition of Ironclad here uh, to put a damper on that. Passive teammate will be picking up the Diva. Christian will be on the Mercy. Buzz the Savage on the Reinhardt. Bunny Overwatch will be playing Winston. Akio on the Lucio. Artemis on Brigitte. Meanwhile, on the other side, Aim God on the Widowmaker. Captain Beams on the Zarya. Phantom Ghost on Mercy. De King 1578 will be playing Reinhardt. Actual Carry will be back on that Junkrat he was having such success with on Li Zhang Tower. And Bacon Hut will be rounding out the lineup playing Brigitte. All right, let's see what we've got going here. It looks like some sort of triple tank formation, a variation of goats coming out uh, here for one team as they pick a entrance here. Meanwhile, Aim God just more than happy to play back on the point, looking for a good high ground position for which he could do a significant amount of damage. Uh, he will start pumping shots in. He's obviously going to try and find one of the supports. The passive teammate not going to give him the opportunity to hold that high ground for long as the goats comes charging on the point. It's an early pick. The king goes down and Akio follows it up, picking off Bacon Hut. This is exactly what you want to see when you're running a goats composition. Actual carry takes to the skies as a flying rat just tries to get out of there. Oh, and Phantom Ghost falling in a very dangerous position manages to get out as well. But it's going to be a solid first point take with three minutes on the clock. That's no joke there. This Ghost composition just allowing them to completely overwhelm the front line, getting two critical picks early. An actual carry nearly dies to passive teammate there, but now it's passive teammate who's in trouble. is going to come back for just a little bit of healing uh, as Buzz to Savage up front, tanking away, taking a little bit of damage. But bad to King trying his best to hold this front line, struggling with these tanks, but he gets an early Earth Shatter in there, and they're going to follow up on it. Solid red in the kill feed. Aim God gets a pick in there as well. Bacon Hut 2 joining his her Reinhardt in the uh, big swings there. And passive teammate decides the discretion, better part of Valor, better to jump in the water here, swim back to spawn, uh, then hang out and wait to get picked. They are indeed back in the fight here. It's going to be something interesting coming out. These two teams, one sitting on four ultimates, the other coming out 
Oh, and it's a grab, tire, all sorts of shenanigans flying out now. Actual carry with the tire, it will manage to get two. It's going to cut this ghost comp in half right at the beginning. They're going to have to do something. Bunny, a little bit over committed, won't get out. Aim God will not let him go. As Brigida pops Rally, Aim God's going to run in there and just get a little bit of that armor coming down off the high ground. The rest of the team more than happy to group up around Brigida and get some power from it as well. Christian gets a pick. It's a Diva Bomb chucked somewhere, but passive teammate with the sneaky Diva Bomb in the back line managed to get two and passes to Savage quickly following that up with an Earth Shatter, and they're pushing on this, ladies and gentlemen. This goat's composition coming in swinging. And now it's Mythical, desperately on the front lines. Accio on the Lucio, actually managing to pick up two. Dekin goes down as well, and they will resecure the payload, committing those two ultimates, and they will push forward Mad Monkeys in there as well. Uh, as we see uh, Bunny Overwatch just swinging away out there. Will he get back to his team without dying? Yes, yes he will. He's looking for a target. He thinks he's found it. No, he's going to come up just a little bit short of the Widowmaker and then jump in for the pursuit. Uh, we hear another tire coming out, and that tire, pretty scary. Actual carry finds Accio, and it's a pretty solid assault here. Mythical doesn't want to give them any, like, space at all. Just comes charging up, and it's the two dive tanks stuck in the back. Passive teammate looking a bit low. Will passive teammate be able to get out without losing the mech? No, she will not. Bunny also trying to make his escape. Just 18 health left, ladies and gentlemen. Can he do it? Yes, he falls back into the comforting arms of Mercy, and the heals come in almost immediately, but unfortunately they are down a D.Va, uh, at least a D.Va mech right here, uh, and they're probably going to miss that as this attack engages. Looking for a good target there. They find actual carry up on the top, actual carry falling back a little bit, and Mercy's not far behind. Aim God now playing a soldier. Just ch chunk some damage into these dive tanks. It's a big grab coming out. Sound barrier is thrown down almost immediately to counter it. The King will throw a shatter in as well. On top of that, both those tank ults come coming out very quickly. Two picks now for Team Mythical here as they just come storming back in. But passive teammate falling back manages to pick off Phantom Ghost and Bunny Overwatch with another angry monkey ult. Manages to get a pick as well, but he's stuck back there. Uh, and he's hit so hard. It blasts him back <laughs> into into the other exhibit. Woo! Man, all right, sorry, other other part of the world. That's dark. Uh, you know, sometimes if you're ever, have you ever got killed so hard when you're playing Winston that you get knocked through <laughs> through a wall? Well, let me tell you, we cut now to Captain Memes here, looking to uh, build up a graviton. Meanwhile, up on the high ground, Aim God trying to live up to his namesake. We're looking for attack visor, and he will use it. Bunny Overwatch going down first. Passive teammate probably going to be next. Oh, but no, he's not able to get it. Akio though, caught in high, caught in the middle. The bad place for Lucio to be coming into that alt, and Aim God will manage to finish him off. The fight now descending into a bit of a brawl under the payload, but things looking distinctly, I would say, in favor of Team Mythical here. Bacon Hut trading blows with his opposite number on the Brigida. Passive teammate is managed to get it, does manage to get a kill there, but it's Accio falling back, and passive teammate will continue to contest. Mercy staying in just a little bit too long is picked off. Accio stuck with Zarya. They're trying to figure out what to do here, but no passive teammate goes down. It's now just Accio XP trying to get behind the shield. He will do so. Now they'll be forced to fall back. Bunny Overwatch switching over to to uh, Hanzo here for this final point, giving up on that uh, that Winston pick, I guess, because he has no more sniper to jump on. He's looking to pick off the soldier here. Soldier putting in a pretty impressive show of just pressuring him off the high ground. Uh, they're going to have to do some sort of miracle play, really, to deceit them with a minute left here, despite that early point take. Bunny Overwatch comes in, tries to pick off Junkrat. He will do so, but he pays for it with his life. An actual carry still in control of the tire, despite dying for reasons that are not entirely clear how that works. Uh, manages to pick someone off, but now it's an Earth Shatter coming in from Buzz the Savage. They'll use that to pick off Bacon Hut, and it's Mythical now on the back foot trying to regroup, despite the fact that they have a soldier on the high ground. I don't think he's contributing quite enough damage to really make a difference here, though he does. Sitting on attack visor, looking for the opportunity to use it. Will they be able to take this point? No. De King throws in. Uh, and we see the attack visor coming out now. He's going to be able to pick up targets with this, that's for sure. He's going to help his teammates finish off some people, if anything. Bunny Overwatch looking for the pick. Doesn't find it. Those two, two, those two have been fighting each other this entire time, really, just going back and forth. But really, it's Aim God that's been managing to find the better of it, at least on this map. And it will be a third map win here for Team Mythical. So, despite the fact 
that Team Ironclad wins uh, the overall match with a pickup on Lijong Tower and Junker Town. A final win on Blizzard World uh, will secure at least one map score here. So we see that Dragon Gall combo executed. Then a quick follow up to pick off the Widowmaker as well. Does Fickin' Mercy in this? I don't think so. No. Again, it's interesting not to see uh, not to see uh, a card there, despite the fact that he's been doing so well in his previous matches. We don't see a card on the board for the Hanzo player. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that about wraps it up here for us in this late night match of the Overwatch Xbox community. Thank you for joining us on a Saturday night. Uh, more exciting Overwatch Xbox action to come. Overwatch League might be over, but there's still plenty of entertainment to be had here tomorrow at Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern. You can catch our Carbon Tier. That's our lowest tier uh, matchup between Insert Team Name here and Wasted Potential at 5 p.m. Eastern, hosted by Garlic Toast and Aqua Epic. There are some other games Sunday, too, which might get scheduled for a sudden uh, late play. We're not sure yet. We're looking for streamers. Uh, again, if you're interested in joining the Overwatch Xbox community, there's always more room for free agents. Or if you want to sign up your own team, all sorts of information can be found on our website. That's oxcgaming.com. Of course, be sure to follow us on Twitter. Uh, you can follow us on Twitch as well. Our handle is oxcgaming. That's where all the action can be found, uh, including previous matches from previous weeks. Uh, this is only week three of the season. There's plenty more action to come here uh, and it only gets more intense as we head into the playoffs uh, so from all of us here at the overwatch xbox community uh thank you for participating we know you have many uh choices in late night overwatch streams on saturday to watch and we're happy that you chose us have a wonderful day